All right there, guys. Welcome back to another video. Up at Dan's, freezing my ass off for you guys. Yeah, we're recording. Sorry, I'm, I've kind of have a, had a long night and so kind of tired and eyes are fucking watering like crazy and sun, the snow and the sun are fucking blinding me. But it's all right, I'm dealing with it. Um, you know, I just had a long fucking night last night because I had to fucking close because one of my fucking coworkers got this fucking thing that's going or but that's been going around for like three or four fucking years. Um. Well, she's got it, got it, her boyfriend's got it, her kids got it, and her in-laws got it. Because her in-laws gave it to her baby, because her in-laws want to take her fucking baby everywhere. While her boy, her and her boyfriend are either at work or in school. Because they... Her boy, because the chick I work with obviously works with me, and she closes because she's got her own kid, or can't work during the day because her boyfriend goes to school because he goes to school at NWTC um, during the day. So he needs to watch her during the day, and her in-laws are working during the day. Um, yeah, so her in-laws were go work during the day. Her boyfriend goes to school during the day, you know, at TC. And then he works like three to fucking midnight every night at his job. And... She can't work nothing but nice because, like I said, her in-laws work during the day. Well, I mean, she's going to be working during the day because she's got, like, a drawing apprenticeship or whatever the fuck it is. So she'll be drawing while she's home, making money from that. And then working with me, which I'll be going back today, is hopefully relatively soon. Because I got to close tonight, tomorrow night. I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off. Because I was supposed to have tomorrow off. But now my fucking boss changed the fucking schedule. I should have told her, hey, no, I'm going out of town for four days for my fucking, you know, because my birthday's coming up. You know, for my fucking birthday. She's like, well, you should have put in I have off. I'm like, you should have just given, kept me giving off. And worked cl a closing shift with Amber. You know, one of my coworkers. You know, I'm getting, I, I keep fucking telling you, I'm getting sick and tired of fucking closing. I work, I've closed for two and a half fucking months. Barely get to see my fucking family. And now that camping's gonna be around the fucking corner, I'm gonna be asking off like fucking crazy. So what are you gonna do with a fucking closer? Or, or for, a, or a, about a closer? When I'm not there. Well, guess what? I don't get off. I don't work there. Because if I can't get keep my life going the way I want it, I am not working for that fucking place anymore. And German bar, you know, the owners uh, ask why I'm leaving. I'm gonna be like, well, because your fucking manager at the university store is running my fucking life and driving me fucking nuts. And she's going to be, my boss is going to be like, well, why? Well, that's not true. I'm like, the fuck it's not. It is true. You're running my fucking life because you're practically having me here 24 fucking 7. 
like, how? Oh, because I'm here. I can't get shit for, you know, you know, so I can run my fucking life. You know, I can't go to the store to get, you know, let's say new clothes. I can't go to the store and let's say get new shoes. I can't go to the store and buy shit for the fucking PlayStation that I want to enjoy. You know, as long as I can have, get done by four, be at home, the fucking bike, by spring. You know, watch, spring's tomorrow, but, starts tomorrow, but, uh, but if I can't enjoy my fucking life by the time it starts really fucking warm, you know, it really fucking starts warming up, I'm looking for a new fucking job. And I'm going to tell them, I can't work past, I can only work this time to this time, Monday to Friday, you know, I'll, I'll go full time. I'll go full time. You know, I'd rather go full fucking time for a fucking grocery store where I can probably most likely have my own insurance then. And... You know, own health insurance is what I'm saying. Um, and... Then I can get just get taken off my dad's insurance early then. Because I'll be on my own insurance then, but I don't know if uh, grocery stores around here do that. I'm not working for the university one over here. I'm not using working for the grocery store over here because I applied there before fucking A&W. <laughs> Didn't fucking call me back. That's why I'm working at fucking A&W. Because I applied there after the grocery store. And they called me back. And it was Amber that called me back. You know, it's not fucking right. You know, and then if you guys remember... My two friends, Jacob, Jacob friends that I have, the one that lives down in Kakana now, and then, you know, that would be Jacob Castro, and then, if you guys remember Jacob Denny, the dumb fucker that got locked up, um, he used to work at the grocery store. You know, the grocery store I applied at before uh, A&W, the one over here. After he got, he, after he quit. Yeah, after he quit working with me, he. Fucking. Went there, quit, or no, he went, no, it was, it was obviously after he, after working with me, but quit working at A&W with me, you know, I'm still there, he quit, went to O'Reilly's, got fired from there, which O'Reilly's was a good job, you know, it was what I thought was a good job, you know, because then you can let's start, you know, learn how to, you know, get parts for when you work on your own shit, you know, if you do. Um, then you got fired from there, got caught stealing money, dumb fucker. Surprised if, because my dad knows the manager there um, really well. So then, like I said, he got fired from there. Went to uh, Taco Bell, the one over here. You know, kind of like across the street from my house, or my work. Not my house, my work. Um, Because where my work is, you got 
the oil change place there, bar and grill next to that on the corner. And then across the street from there is Walgreens, and next to Walgreens will be Taco Bell. Um, so you went to that Taco Bell next to Walgreens across the street from my work. Um, I gotta lay my bike down the wind starting to fucking get bad. Um, Alright. You know, so he went there, got fucking fired from there. This is now, mind you, 2020. Um, well, 2019 into 2020 in that, you know, time frame. Because we started, this is back when we started working on my dad's fucking truck, on my dad's avalanche, because I remember when, I remember this time frame because, you know, like I said, we were working on my dad's truck, and at the time, we were driving my grandpa's truck, you know, my dad was driving my grandpa's truck. Because the only type thing at the time that my dad had that was running was the avalanche. You know, he, I mean, granted, he had my mom's truck, which my mom needed that to get to work. And then he had the blue truck, which it wasn't, run, wasn't running. They couldn't, he couldn't afford at the time to get it running. Because he didn't have the money because, you know, bills. So then he, you know, in turn, took my grandpa's truck. You know, my grandpa said, yeah, because they, they had another vehicle that they could drive that they drove more at the time being because they didn't have to do any, like, yard work or anything. You know, so it's, you know, some, a vehicle that they didn't. They necessarily didn't need to rely on because, you know, it wasn't the time of year they needed it. So then, my dad tried, wanted to avoid the light by my work. You know, that's the stop and go light right up there, uh, you know, where Dan's meets the university. But between R&Ds and, you know, that bar and girl, which is R&Ds, and Walgreens. So, my, you know, it turned red, my dad, because my dad was kind of in pain, you know, trying to get home so that we can get everything home and go to the store and get food because we were starting, starting to get late. Um, you know, so my dad cuts down between this now nail salon and where Subway is. If you, I'm, if you know where, you know, the Green Bay area, you know where I'm talking. I'm talking on the east side of Green Bay. Um. You know, so it, we cut down there between Subway and that nail salon, and then turned on to my street. And all of a sudden, here comes walking down, you know, here walk, comes Jacob walking down the fucking street. You know, about 4 30, you know, about 5, 5 30, maybe 6 at the latest. Fucking rolls down the window. Um. So I rolled on the window because he, he walks out to my window because he can clearly fucking see me in the fucking truck. I wish I would have told my dad as soon as he fucking gets out from in front of the fucking truck, go. Because I didn't want to talk to him, you know. I got along with him, but not well enough. But, you know, anyway. Um, I'm going to finish this story the next time I fucking get out, which might be tomorrow. So, I don't know. Hopefully the fucking weather is better, you know, way better tomorrow. And we'll see, so... I might, um, so yeah, like I said, I might finish the story tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm kind of getting a little long in the video, so I'll see you guys in the next video.